Hello and welcome to today's ServiceNow Express overview video of the new contextual search configuration functionality as of the Istanbul release. In the Istanbul release, we've introduced the ability to configure contextual search for any record producer in the system, new or existing. For those that are already using contextual search, you'll be familiar that the functionality involves automatically bringing up related knowledge articles or catalog items for users as they type in their short description for an incident. For example, if I had an email issue here as a user, the system would automatically prompt related content. This is to have the goal of incident deflection. Low level Q&A as well as misguided requests in the system will hopefully be caught by this contextual search. How do we set this up for existing record producers or even change for the create incident record producer what it's actually searching on? Let's take a look at how it's done. I'm going to come in here to this record producer to personalize the item. This opens up the record producer form. You'll notice that you have a new related link available on all your record producers. Configure contextual search. For an existing record producer that has a contextual search feature, such as create incident, I can go ahead and select this option to change exactly what it is we're searching in the system. By default, it searches with the incident deflection search, which involves knowledge. But I can pick if I want, for example, catalog and social Q&A to be the only content searched. Catalog, knowledge and catalog, knowledge and social Q&A, knowledge based search, or a combination of all of them, knowledge, social, Q&A, and catalog results. So you have the ability to fine tune exactly what is this contextual search searching on an individual record producer basis. Let's take an example of a new record producer that you want to enable this contextual search functionality for. Here, I'm going to put in my sample record producer, producing records on the problem table. The next step is simply to have at least one text variable on my form for the contextual search to key off of. You'll notice if you attempt to configure contextual search without at least one text variable, the system will prompt you informing you you need it. So in my variable section, I'm simply going to create one text variable for this example. We'll do a single line text and submit. Now that we have the text field available on this record producer, we can press the configure contextual search related link, which will open up the ability for us to pick exactly what search context we'd like to use. So in this case, perhaps I'd only like to use catalog items. I go ahead and I select that and I select my search variable. As mentioned, the contextual search keys off data entered into a text field. So if I had multiple text fields, I could select which one should be used for the key. In this case, I just have my one test, so I'm going to select that field. After this has been defined, we go ahead and press Update. I'm going to open up this test record producer to try it out. Here, let's pretend our user wanted to open an incident for a new computer request. But as we know, that would be misrouted. We want them using an existing computer catalog item instead. So as I type in, I need a new computer, we can see that our contextual search keying off this is offering them all the items they have access to that involves a computer. Here, they can simply do one click to actually order that given item. This has been a video overview of configuring contextual search in ServiceNow Express as of the Istanbul release.